Hello everyone, so now I'm going to discuss example 19. Find the value of x for 4 plus 3x minus x squared less than or equals to 0 and by using the graphical method. Step number 1, I'm going to rearrange the situation so that the coefficient of the negative x squared will be a positive x squared. So x squared minus 3x minus 4 greater than equals to 0. Next step, I'm going to factorize the situation. So where we have x minus 4, x plus 1 greater than equals to 0. Next, I'm going to identify the point where we have x equals to 4 and x equals to negative 1. Since the value of a is greater than 0, so this will be a minimum graph. negative 1 on the left and 4 on the right. So we have to make the decision by referring to the inequality sign, which is a greater than or equals to 0, meaning that above the x-axis. So here will be our answer. So I'm going to write down my final answer, negative infinity until negative 1, where the negative 1 is included Union, start from 4 until infinity. This will be the interval form. And the following other set notation. Next, we are going to use the real number line to find the answer. Step number one, rearrange. Next, follow by factorize the situation. So when it is the simplest form, it is the time to identify whether we want a negative value or a positive value. So in here, we have a positive value. Okay, so now is the time to split. Whenever we split, we have to assume that it is always positive. So we have x which is greater and equals to 4 and x which is greater and equals to negative 1. Next, I'm going to illustrate the situation in the real number line. So we have negative 1 on the left and 4 on the right. Next, we have greater and equals to negative 1. So to the right and next we have greater and equals to 4 so here we have a negative negative and a negative because we already assume it is a positive number line so finally we have here positive negative and positive and do remember we have to select the region by referring to the sign which is a positive so here will be our answer. So finally, we have negative infinity until negative 1. Union 4 until infinity. Now I'm going to solve the problem by using the third method, which is the table of sign. So step number 1, I'm going to rearrange the situation. So where we have x squared minus 3x minus 4 greater than equals to 0 followed by factorize the situation and we will have x minus 4 and x plus 1 which is greater than equals to 0 next we are going to find the point which is a negative 4 become 4 positive 1 become negative 1 so here will be my value for negative 1 and 4 Next, I'm going to uh, have an interval, so where we have x less than negative 1. Next part would be negative 1 until 4. Final part would be x greater than 4. So my suggestion would be negative 2. 
0 and 5 okay so I'm going to substitute the expression where we have x minus 4 x plus 1 so here are the product x minus 4 x plus 1 so I'm going to substitute the value if I substitute negative 2 into this part I will have a negative value if I substitute a 0 into this part again I will have a negative value if I substitute 5 into this part and I will have a positive value next would be x plus 1 if I substitute negative 2 into this part and I will have a negative value followed by 0 I will have a positive value next would be substitute 5 into this part and I will have a positive value finally our product will be positive negative and positive so by referring to the inequalities the sign that we need to find or to choose is a positive value so where we have a positive sign on both ends so finally our answer would be x which is less than equals to negative 1 or x which is greater than equals to 4 so here we are and thanks for watching